What's going on guys? It's Real Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video and it's a money glitch, a pretty cool one and you can actually duplicate every car in your facility if you really want to in one go. Really freaking simple to do. Uh, timing isn't so crazy but I will show you. You can fail every now and then but it's a really easy fix and it's not too difficult whatsoever. So the founder of this glitch is K Glitcher. This isn't the new, this isn't a new glitch but it's a new method for the glitch that I came out with a few days ago. Alright, now what you're going to need is is you need a facility go ahead and throw as many you know vehicles in there as you want to dupe so if you want to dupe seven of your LG retro customs then you want to go ahead and put seven LG retro customs in there remember only dupe Benny's vehicles guys Benny's vehicles are the ones that will sell uh, for a good amount the LG retro custom sells for the most and you want to make sure it has a custom plate on it very very important all your cars you want to duplicate need a custom plate other than that, you're going to need a friend, but your friend literally just needs to sit in the job for you. That's all your friend needs to do is just be in a job with you. Do this in a close friend session. Not so important for Xbox, but definitely important for PlayStation. Make sure you're in a closed friend session, all right? Just both consoles, go ahead and do that. Then, once you've done that and you have those requirements, what you're going to need then is an actual garage, and you want this garage to be full. Now, I'm using this garage. You see how my Route 68 facility is right here, and literally across the street is a six-car garage. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that to make it nice and easy so that I don't have to go all the way back you know, to the city to go ahead and do this, uh, to go ahead and drive back and forth. So I'm just going to buy the six-car garage and transfer it with this other garage that I have, and I know for sure I have a bunch of RH8s and I think a Fagio as well in the other garage so I'm just gonna show you right here exactly what's in here now the garage you're using wherever it is doesn't matter it needs to be full all right and you want it to be full mostly of cars that you want to get rid of all right like I'm gonna be getting rid of all of these RH8s and that Fagio I don't need them that Deluxe I'll definitely keep I'm not gonna override that but I'm gonna override all these other cars all right for sure so that's pretty much all the setup that you need once you've gotten all that you're pretty much ready to go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back over to the facility and I'm gonna let I'm actually gonna invite my friend into the facility with me okay if your friends outside you can actually just bring them in you know when it says enter with nearby friends and crew you can do that as well but my friends not in here yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and invite him into my facility remember close friend session to do this it will make it much much better so now what you want your friend to do once he's in here is go ahead and open up your phone and you know how you can call uh, Simeon Gerald uh, you know those jobs you want to go ahead and request a job from one of them okay I think Martin as well yeah Simeon Martin or Gerald you want to go ahead and your tell your friend once he's in here just like that to open up your phone request a job from one of them and once you've requested a job and you got it in your phone just launch it up and just sit in the lobby screen don't actually fully launch into the job just sit in the lobby all right and that's all your friend has to do just have him sitting in the lobby all right that's it tell him to go make a coffee go make a sandwich something like that what you're going to do is go ahead and grab one of the cards you want to duplicate with a custom plate on it, go to your dashboard and hit join friend. So spam on join game and then hold right trigger and then just spam A through that first alert. Okay. If you've done that correctly, you should be joining into the job. You want to make sure that you drove out of the facility so that you got a black screen and then that alert came up and you accepted it. So you see, I'm fully joining in to this Gerald job that my friend started. Once you're right there and you're able to back out, just back out and confirm it. If done correctly, you should spawn out on foot just like this with no personal vehicle icon on the map. You see how there's no personal vehicle icon there? What just happened is your car is actually out on the map somewhere, but you might not see it right away. Like I hopped in here just to kind of get a better view, but your car should be spawning somewhere in the street. Every facility is different, but you'll see in a second where my other car spawns. So I didn't see it there, but I trusted that this glitch did work. So I'm going to run back into my facility again. Now your friend just stays sitting in that job. That's all your friend does. Just have your friend just chill in that job. Now you see right there, that's an indicator that the glitch probably works. Okay. When you come back in your facility and you see that that car is actually missing, that is a good indication that it works. So hop into the next car you want to go ahead and dupe and you're going to do the same thing. Have the car started, go ahead and spam on join game on your friend. And then once you've spammed on join game, hold right trigger and get out of there. So R2 or right trigger. So as you can see right here, the alert didn't come up, but look out there on the street. You see out there right, right over there in the middle of the screen right now? That's the first car that I drove out. No personal vehicle icon over there, but that is the dupe. It actually spawned out there in the street. So it didn't work with this car obviously because i drove out before the actual alert you know came up and you see i even got another automatic alert that's what sucks about xbox sometimes you just get automatic alerts for no reason so 
I'm just gonna simply drive this car in and try again. I didn't ruin anything. I'm just gonna go in there and try this again, okay? So I'm in the car right now. My friend is still in that AFK job, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here and do the same thing. Start up the car, go to my dashboard, and on PlayStation, just go to, you know, the, uh, go over to the party and you can join your friend through the party and then just make sure you are hitting right trigger and holding it before you drop uh, before you know the alert comes up and you accept it that's all you're doing okay so the same concept on both consoles so as you can see right there i drove out i got the alert and i accepted it as soon as i could once you're in this screen right here just simply go ahead and back out once you've done that you should spawn outside on foot with no personal vehicle icon there we go. You see that? Now I'm going to get up on here and just look down there. I still see my first dupe there, but I don't see the second one. For some reason, whenever I do this glitch, for the most part, that the dupe that I just created isn't out yet. I have to go in the facility and back out to actually like see it. So I just come in here to check and look at that. I'm missing two cars in there already. That's a good sign. That's a, that's a sign that says you've probably duplicated two cars already, even though I only saw one out there. So I'm just going to trust that it works and continue on with third car. Okay. And this is what you do for every single car. Remember the friend is still in the job. I'm going to start the job up, spam on join game and drive out before that alert comes up. So I drove out and then boom, there's the alert. I spammed on a just to accept it. And you're going to fully load into the lobby just like we've been doing this whole time. Once I'm fully in there and it lets me, you know, go ahead and press B or circle to back out, that's what you're gonna do. Just hit B or circle, confirm that, back out, and then what you should see is you spawn outside on foot, and look at that, it actually spawned right next to me this time. So this one spawned right next to me, luckily. They could spawn anywhere, but look down at the street. I have both the other dupes that I, sp that I did before, so I'm gonna just aim at there to show you. See the blue car? and the kind of aqua teal car, you know? So all three of my dupes are actually all outside right now. So once, you know, I, I know it's working. So all three of the dupes are there. And guys, the friend is still AFK in the job. Now go ahead and go back in your facility and you just keep doing this for every single car, man. That's what I'm telling you, this glitch is awesome. All right, your friend just sits AFK and you can just go ahead and keep duping every car in your garage. So that's why I recommend just having a full, you know, facility of cars you wanna dupe. So we're in the fourth and final car that we're gonna be doing in this video. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and join my friend and then hold right trigger before that alert comes up and then accept the alert. So spam join game, hold right trigger to drive out, accept that alert, and then you should load up into the lobby screen, okay? And then make sure you just back out. Now, a weird thing that can happen, if you see yourself spawn like outside the facility and then back into the lobby, that chances are it didn't really work. So you wanna go ahead and go back into your facility, swap the cars around, you'll see that one there, and just try the glitch again, okay? But it did work this time, I spawned back on foot, no personal vehicle icon, I still have this white one here, that was the third car I duped, and I look over there and I only saw two. So because I still only saw two, you know, I'm just gonna, like I said, sometimes I have to go back, actually most of the time I was doing this, I had to go into my facility and back out to be able to see the car that I just duped, okay? The only time I didn't have to do that was once with that white car, but you see, all four of the cars are gone from my facility, and my friend is still AFK in that job. You want your friend to stay in that job, you know, as long as possible and in your facility. Once your friend comes out of your facility, those cars outside will break up. So you need your friend to stay in the job or in your facility at all times, okay? So right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab this third dupe that I made, and looking out there, I can actually kind of see that the other car is there too. So check it out. All three of the other duplicates I made are all there. Look at that. They all spawned right here at this part of the street. None of them with a personal vehicle icon. These are all dupes right here. All unregistered dupes completely, okay? So, this is where the garage comes into play. Now, you would do this for all the cars in your garages if you wanted to dupe all seven, okay? But like I said, I'm only doing four in the video, but just to show you how it works. So, I'm going to go to this garage, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of this dupe right here that I made. Now, this is why you want a bunch of RH8s or Fagios inside of the garage. So this step is kind of like the other glitch that we were doing, you know? What you're gonna do is go ahead and go into this garage and just pull out one of these vehicles. All you gotta do is simply drive it out. That's it, you know, nothing too complicated. This glitch isn't crazy, all right? No crazy timing whatsoever. It's just those alerts sometimes don't come in right away or they come in too late, you know? It's, it's all good though. You can work around it. So that vehicle is out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drive the dupe in, all right? Remember, you want this garage to be full so that this car slides right into that slot where that Fagio just was. So check it out. It does that weird thing like it did in the first glitch, the original, and boom, we have just made a dupe and it's fully saved in there just like that. So 
once uh, once again, I want to make another dupe. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get into another vehicle in here that I want to dupe over, drive it out, and since all my dupes are just chilling over there on the street, I'm just going to, you know, take this car and drive it over there. And I'm not going to bore you guys by going over there slowly, but check it out. All my other dupes are still sitting there, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab one and drive it in there. And what should happen, it should slide right into that spot where I just took the RH8 out of. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Boom. Just like that. The cars, like, go crazy. They dupe in there. And then the original kind of, you know, disappears and the dupe stays right there in the garage. Boom, just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and just rinse and repeat. You know, we've already made the dupes are out there on the street. I'm going to go ahead and grab the third car with the RH8. You remember, you want that RH8 to be outside, you know, the RH8 or Fagio, and then drive your dupe in. You want it to slide right into that spot that you just drove out of. Boom, there is another dupe. So guys, this is mad, mad easy, all right? You can, you can do a lot with this glitch and you can get cars pretty, pretty quickly if you're able to get, you know, those alerts coming in quicker. On Xbox, sometimes details don't come in. It kind of sucks, you know, but guys, I did this on Xbox and I didn't have too much trouble doing this. I really didn't. So then, you know, this is the last vehicle right here that I'm going to be doing. And remember, this is the fourth and final car. So I drove the RH8 out, you know, to go get it. I got the retro over here. I'm going to drive it in and boom, there is the fourth dupe, guys, just like that, okay? So that's four dupes right there for you. Nice and easy, not too crazy complicated. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm gonna show you though real quick uh, for some people that don't really understand what's going on. I'm gonna pretty much show you where those other cars, you know, are coming from or whatever, where they are. So now my friend, remember, my friend is still in that job inside of the uh, facility, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell my friend to back out. All right, my friend is backed out of the job, but you see there's my original car still aren't there anymore. We had to both come out of the facility and then I went back in with him and look at that. Now all four cars are still there. So the four dupes are saved in the garage. My four originals are all right here and I can go ahead and have him jump into a job right now and I can dupe these cars again. Just like that. Well, I would need a garage ready to go with RH8s and stuff to ride over. But yeah, you can continue duping just like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take advantage of this glitch. We haven't had one like this in a while. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.